Hey guys, welcome to my very first tutorial. Uh, I've been getting a lot of YouTube messages about how how do you install mods, especially with the car mod that just came out. A lot of new players are coming onto the YouTube channel, and they really don't have a clue what they're what they're doing. So this video is for you know the bare bones basics. You just came into Fallout, you don't know how, or Fallout or Skyrim, and you don't know how to mod it. You don't even know where to start. You don't understand the the Nexus, the mod manager, and you just want a basic guide to get going. So that's what this is. This is a reference for me to link to. Everybody's got to start somewhere. So if you know what you're doing, you're probably not going to want to watch this video. Um, I'm going to keep this really simple. Okay, so the first thing that you're going to want to get familiar with, you've got your game installed. It's all patched up on Steam. Um, the example I'm going to be using is for Fallout New Vegas. But everything that I say about this pretty much relates directly to how to mod Skyrim as well. So, you know, keep that in mind. All right. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to want to head over to the Nexus and you're going to get a program called Nexus Mod Manager. And you're also going to want to sign up for an account with the Nexus. The Nexus is pretty much a place where you have a collection of mods. And the guys over at the Nexus have come out with this great little program called Nexus Mod Manager. So head on over to the Nexus. Head up to the top and it'll say Mod Manager once you're logged in and click download. And then click download now. Give it a second. The servers for the Nexus can be a little slow at times. Sometimes downright unresponsive. Excuse me. All right, so once that pops up, go ahead and click yes, download. Sure, why not? Run it, hit run, install it, wherever you you know want to install it to. Then get it open. Now, I've already got it installed, so I'll go ahead and open it. Show you what that looks like. You'll get a prompt, or actually I think it'll scan your computer and see which games it supports. Uh, and the Nexus has grown quite a bit, so it, you know, this is gonna, this will support Fallout 3 and Fallout New Vegas and Skyrim and uh, a couple other games. These are the three that I'm really focusing on right now. All right, so Fallout New Vegas is gonna be our example. And what the, the Nexus Mod Manager does is it lets you, well, it does exactly what the title says. It manages your mods. It'll tell you when they're out of date and you need to update them, you know, when the authors updated them. It'll tell you which ones you've uh, endorsed. Uh, it'll, it's a place where it'll back up your mods. So say you want to start your game over for a fresh install. It'll keep all your mods in a separate folder so you don't delete them, you don't have to re-download them. And then you can just immediately install them. It's very convenient. Uh, this is the newest version as of this video, um, 0 .4 0.0.1. They just added this neat uh, uh, sorting and when you've got 60 or 70 mods in your computer, having a sorting function is probably the best idea I've ever thought of. And you can turn the sorting off if you want just one big massive list. All right, so let's get into what this does. So once you've got it installed, you can download your first mod. So, so let's look at Vault HQ1. And oh, look at that, I got a kick-ass video right there, the whole mod. So you check out the video, you're like, oh, this is cool, I wanna play this. Now you've got Nexus Mod Manager installed, for most mods, and always read the description page on how to install, but most mods, you can just click Download with Manager. And once you do that, look over at your Nexus, or your um, Nexus Mod Manager, and it'll pop up under the Downloads tab. So you just go to this little, make sure you guys can see that, Download Manager, put your mouse over that, it'll open this, and it'll show it downloading. Like I said, the Nexus servers can be slow at times. Sometimes you'll get a connection error. You may have to log back in, log out, or restart the program. Um, I already have this installed, so I'm going to stop it. So once it's done downloading, it'll pop up under this list. All right, so our example was Vault HQ1. Let's just go down to that real quick. The little check mark means I already have it installed, so I'll just uninstall it real quick. So you just downloaded the mod. It's probably the only one in your list. Double click it, and it automatically installs to your game. And it's that simple. That's the basics on how to install mods for Fallout and for Skyrim. But a lot of mods, this is where they get you, a lot of mods require to have uh, to have a little bit of software installed into your game called New Vegas Script Extender, if you're talking about Fallout New Vegas, or Skyrim Script Extender. So SKSE is what they people always abbreviate it as if you're talking about Skyrim, and NVSE is for, of course, New Vegas. So what this does is, uh, first let's actually find how to get it. So we'll just go to Google real quick. 
the links for all these will be at the bottom in the description for this video but you can go to Google type in NVSC it'll be the very first link on the top and this is the simple website it's like a text page at the very top download latest version just click that it's a zip file hit yes it's a very small download takes two seconds open it up it is a zip you're gonna need WinZip or WinRAR to open it up and you'll get this folder and you can open up the folder and there's all your files for it now real quick what this does is it allows modders uh, to do more with the game pretty much it gives them access to be able to make the really big mods that we all enjoy like Frostfall for Skyrim or the Cars mod for uh, Fallout that just came out you know those are examples of they couldn't do it with what was automatically in the game so they needed just a little bit more they needed uh, more functionality through the scripting anyways more than you really need to know you want your mods to work and you want to play the game so always when you download a file like this go to the readme go through the readme look for the installation instructions this one's is quite, very simple for this version make sure you read yours because it may be a later version you may have to do something else but this literally says copy all the .dll and .exe files into your fallout new vegas directory well here's your dlls .dll .dll there's a .exe so just highlight them all now they want you to put them in your New Vegas directory, not the data folder. I know most mods tell you put everything in the data folder, but this is a special case. So go to wherever you installed Steam to with whatever hard drive. For me, I put it in the D drive. Um, I think Steam is normally under program files. I just threw it under the D drive. So go under st your Steam folder. Um, go under Steam apps. Under Now this is the same for everybody. Once you get in the Steam folder, everybody's is the same. So Steam folder, Steam apps, common folder, then find the game you're talking about, whether it's Skyrim or Fallout New Vegas. And if you see the Fallout NV EXE, you're in the right place. If you see the data folder, you're in the right place. So take those DLL and the EXE files, drag them and drop them in the folder. Um, yeah, move and replace, why not? It's all the same file anyways, I've already got it installed. And now when you want to launch the game, you can launch it through the NVSE loader here, or if you installed Mod Manager, like I highly recommend, go under Mod Manager. Now when you open Mod Manager, click this little arrow down here, and go down to Launch via NVSE. And that's all you got to do. Now all you have to do is click this one button, and it'll launch it with a script extender installed, with your mods good to go, and you're set. So highlights of this were make sure you have the most updated version of your script extender for your game make sure your game is updated to the script extender so if say Skyrim updates the script extender will not probably won't work anymore until they update the script extender and then you can download the new version of it so what I recommend is going under your Steam and go under the game Skyrim or Fallout and turn off automatic update that way it may take them a day maybe two days to get out the new version of uh, NVSC they're actually really quick about it and that way you don't break your game waiting for a patch to come out for New Vegas it's not really a big problem for us because we haven't had an update in a while Skyrim you know they, they do get updated a bit more since it's a newer game and they've got the expansions coming out all right, uh, this this was the basics for modding. Now I plan on doing more tutorials. If you have requests on how to install things like HUD mods and whatnot, let me know in the comments down below. Uh, I'm also going to do a real quick run through of great mods that you should always have installed if your computer can handle them. Uh, visual mods and uh, just you know Project God Project Nevada is a huge one. I love that mod. Just the ones that I go to right away when I reinstall. I just reinstalled Fallout. That's why my mod list isn't actually that long, my plugin list. So I'm going to get a nice list for everybody of here's mods that I use every time I install the game. Highly recommend it. All right, well, that wraps up this video. Please like this video. Uh, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I, this was a little bit longer than I expected it to be. Kind of rambled on, so I apologize for that. All right, y'all take care.